What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. At the start of this video, I wanna pose you guys with a question. Have you been trying to diet, lose weight, build muscle, all that stuff, and yet you aren't seeing the results you want? Have you attempted multiple diets, gone to the gym, done everything you're supposed to be doing, but yet you're still stuck in the same place? If that is the case, then you definitely wanna watch this video to the end. I'm gonna go through the 10 reasons, or I should say the 10 diet mistakes you're making that are sabotaging your results and keeping you fat, except we're gonna flip it on its head and do something completely different. We are gonna look at this through the lens of inversion thinking, which I got the idea from Alex Alex Hermosi right here on YouTube, an excellent channel. I recommend you check him out. But the process of inversion thinking is essentially looking at the problem in reverse. So instead of going, if I wanna get lean, I need to eat in a calorie deficit, you look at the problem as, if I want to get fat and stay fat, I need to eat more calories than I need in a day. And through this process of inversion thinking, the goal is to reprogram your mind and look at problems completely different and you can find the solutions by working backwards. Not only is this a great mental exercise, but one that you can carry over into all aspects of your life. I'm telling you guys, I've been doing this for the last few months it's completely changed the way that I look at everything. So I'm telling you, go into this with an open mind and I promise by the end of this video, you will not be disappointed. So without further ado, if y'all are ready for an epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now, before we jump into this mental exercise of inversion thinking, I gotta remind you guys that the Memorial Day sale is still going on right now, all the way through Monday the 30th. This is the largest sale we've ever had on our website. Literally, the Anabars are 20% off before you use my code. Anabutters, 20% off. Whey proteins, 20% off. And then everything else, all of these supplements from pre-workout, branched chain aminos, greens powder, turkesterone, all of those are half off before you even use my code. So take advantage of this because this is the biggest sale we've ever had. Head on over to theanabar.com and use code RJF10. You're gonna save a ton of money, more than you'll ever save on Anabar, and you'll be getting some amazing products too. I guarantee it. Thank you to everybody that supports. All right, here we go. Through the process of inversion thinking, the way we're gonna look at this is what would we do if we wanted to ensure we never saw results and we wanted to stay fat and out of shape? The first thing we would do is start tomorrow. This one is absolutely huge. The amount of people I have spoken to that tell me, oh, okay, I'm gonna eat bad this weekend, and then on Monday, the diet's gonna start, or I'm gonna start just working out this week, I'll start the diet next week, then after the diet, a week after that, I'll do the cardio, you're always just setting something off to a future day instead of literally looking at yourself and being like, hey, cut the excuses, cut the BS, we're gonna do this right now. A lot of people fall victim to something I like to call over analysis paralysis. Instead of seeing what they want, visualizing it in their head and executing on it, they simply put it off until tomorrow. And that is the most surefire way to ensure that your diet never works out and you stay out of shape. So if we inverse that and we look at it the other way, the best thing you can do is to just start right now. It doesn't have to be extraordinary. It doesn't have to have every duck in a row to do it, you just simply have to start. An object in motion stays in motion. And once you get in the habit of going and executing every single day, it just becomes part of your daily habits and this whole thing becomes that much easier. And the second thing we would do to ensure that we never saw results and we stayed fat is that we would take advice about dieting and fitness from people who don't diet and don't do fitness. Seriously, this one absolutely boggles my mind. As someone who's been in this space for a very long time, there is no worse opinion than the opinion of someone who has never actually done what you're attempting to accomplish. And this doesn't just happen with fitness. This happens with financial advice, buying a home, buying a car, training for an MMA fight, whatever it is. If you're taking advice from people that have never done it, then that advice is quite literally meaningless. I'll have clients on programs and they'll be eating a certain diet, they're seeing results, and they'll go to work and the dude that works a cubicle across from them will tell them that what they're doing is crap and they need to do keto because keto is the way that it works and they're gonna burn more fat and they'll come at me with an email asking me about it and I have to literally talk them back into continuing to do what has been working. If you wanted to make a million dollars on the stock market, you wouldn't go to the guy mowing your lawn to ask him for financial advice. Yeah, he could tell you how to fertilize and do all that and show you how to keep the grass at that perfect level, but if the guy's not investing, why in the world would you look to him for advice? That is the most surefire way to ensure that you never get the results you want. And if we flip that on the inverse, you will be much better off if you're taking advice from people that look how you want to look. If someone has achieved a body or a level of fitness that you find respectable, commendable, admirable, then those are the people you should be getting advice from, not the guy down the street that weighs 300 pounds that is trying to tell you that keto is the secret. And the third way to ensure that you stay out of shape is to surround yourself with people who A, don't motivate you, and B, tell you that what you're trying to achieve is impossible. Before I started doing anything entrepreneurial, I tried very hard to surround myself with people that were doing things on a level better than what I was doing. People that I could get motivation from, gleam advice from, people that would hold me accountable when I was messing up, people there in the corner that would cheer me on. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And if those five people aren't 
trying to do anything to better themselves. They're eating pizza every single night. You tell them you're trying to diet and they just kind of go, what are you trying to lose weight for? It doesn't matter. If you're surrounding yourself with people like that, then you are destined to fail. Having a strong support system is crucial at any point in life. You need people that you can count on and rely on and people that will help pick you up when you are down. And if you surround yourself with negative people that aren't trying to accomplish anything themselves, then I hate to say it, but you are going to be in the exact same boat. And if we inverse that and you go to the gym and you find some friends that are into fitness, into eating healthier, and boom, you guys want to go out to dinner or do something and you all have the same mindset, not only are you less likely to cheat on your diet and do a crazy binge because you don't have that peer pressure around you, but you guys can actually talk about what you're interested in. You're trying to lose weight. You're trying to build muscle. What dieting secret are you doing? What kind of special exercise is working for you? You can literally feed off each other and make this entire process that much easier. And the fourth way to ensure you never see results is to think that results happen overnight. I bet you a ton of you watching have done this exact same thing. You start a diet. You're going at it for maybe a week or two. You see that initial drop in water weight. You see the results initially and you feel good. And then about two weeks in when that water weight drops off and things start to normalize, you're only losing maybe a pound or two a week. You get discouraged. It's not happening fast enough. All this work you're putting in isn't worth it because you can't see those results right away. And I always try to explain this to people, but anything worth having in life is going to take some time. You have to understand this is a marathon and not a sprint. You did not gain all that weight overnight and you will not lose all that weight overnight. It takes time. It takes consistency. It takes some days being harder than others. And if you look at it in terms of investing, right? If you put money into the stock market, unless you're extremely lucky or you're a politician, you're not going to see a massive return on that investment until you give it some time. It's got to mature. It's like planting a seed that you have to water. If your goal is to make the big money, the retirement type of money, then you have to be willing to be patient and just understand that as long as you stay the course and you keep going, no matter what, those results are going to happen. The law of thermodynamics clearly doesn't lie. If you eat less calories than your body needs in a day, you are going to lose weight no matter what. And if we go ahead and inverse this, if you understand from the get-go, this is a journey, not just a quick trip, something that's going to actually require time. You understand that you're planting that seed and you're going to be watering it for a decent amount of time to get your results. If you set that expectation from the jump, then you're going to be way better equipped to handle those weeks when you don't lose as much weight as you want and you're wondering what all the work is for. If you look at anybody that has achieved a certain level of fitness and has kept that for years, decades even, you understand that they've made this a lifestyle and they've learned the value of patience. Nothing worth having in life is attained instantly. You got to be willing to wait. You got to be willing to put in the work. And most importantly, you have to be patient and understand that results never happen overnight. And if you want a world-class physique, you got to practice world-class discipline. And the fifth way to ensure that you stay out of shape and your diet never works is to be negative and complain about things that you can't control. I preach this to everybody that will listen. A negative mindset is the quickest way to ensure you're going to fail at anything you do in life. We've all met these type of people that are overly negative. If they're having trouble losing weight, they'll blame it on their genetics. If they couldn't make it to the gym, they'll blame it on their job. If you tell them about a goal you're trying to achieve, they will give you five reasons why it's never going to work out. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the wrong way to look at things. I'm a glass half full type of guy. No matter what type of situation it is, I always try to find the positives in it. If something goes wrong, I look at it as a lesson. If I wake up and it's raining outside, I don't look and I go, oh, this is going to be a bad day. Instead, I do everything as I would have normally done it if it was a bright, beautiful, sunny day with the birds chirping. Being negative and pessimistic is quite literally a choice you make in your own head. And it's so easy to fall into that habit of doing that with everything. So I implore you to be mindful of the way that you think about things. If you don't think you're going to succeed and you're negative, then that is most likely going to happen. But if you're positive and optimistic, not only does that make you a lightning rod to other people because your energy is so infectious, but it also increases your chance of succeeding at everything in life by a hundredfold. So on the inverse of that, if you go into every situation with a positive mindset, a positive outlook, thinking about what the best things could be that could happen versus what could go wrong and what could be negative, you are going to be in a much better spot. And the next way to ensure that your diet isn't giving you the results you want is to not be eating out of the RJF anabolic cookbook. All right, this one is a bonus one, so it doesn't actually fit into the structure of 10, but I'm telling you guys, when it comes to losing weight, diet is the most important component. And if you don't like what you're doing, you don't like eating chicken, rice, and broccoli, then perhaps you may finally find success by eating foods you actually love. Things like chocolate chip waffles, pizza, ice cream, donuts, except you're making the higher protein, anabolic, healthier versions. And with my cookbook in your pocket, I really feel like it is dieting on easy mode. Seriously, I have a ton of recipes on this channel that you can try out if you've never even attempted to make one. And if you do a few and you enjoy them and you think you can eat this long term, then check out my cookbook. We have over 250 pages and it's growing every day because you get it one time. You get all the future updates for free, so it keeps on growing. Hit that link down in my description to check it out. And I promise if you follow us in here, I know for a certainty you will not regret it. Now let's get back to the video. And the sixth way to ensure that your diet doesn't work and you stay fat is to quit when things get tough. I would say that this problem plagues people in every single aspect of life. For some reason here in the West, we've gotten really 
really comfy with things being easy. You get hungry, go through the drive-thru. You're too lazy to go to the grocery store, you can get on an app and have them bring it to you. There's a million reasons why we have become soft as a people here in the US of A. And if you look at anybody that you admire that has achieved anything that you would consider a admirable level of success, the difference between them and the other people they're competing with that never even got to that level is that they never quit. Yeah, you're gonna have some bad days. Sometimes things are tough. Sometimes external situations and factors happen in your life that make doing what you plan on doing difficult. And yeah, you might miss a day here or there. Things might happen, but that is life. Life is not fair and life can be very hard. But if it wasn't for things getting bad, we wouldn't appreciate things when they're good. If it wasn't for eating too much food making you fat, then you wouldn't appreciate a six pack. The reason we admire aesthetic physiques is that they are rare and they are rare because they are hard to achieve. And if you quit the first time things get tough, you are never going to reach your goal. So if we flip this on the inverse, if you want to be successful, you gotta understand that some days are harder than others, some days are easier. It's not always gonna be rainbows, butterflies, and sunshine. Sometimes it's rain, tornadoes, and hail that damages your vehicle. But regardless of these circumstances, you get up, you keep going, and you never quit. If you can master that, the mental fortitude required to do that, you can achieve just about anything you want. And the seventh way to ensure you're not getting the results you want is to repeatedly make mistakes and not learn from them and make the same mistake again. As we move through life, we are confronted with choice after choice after choice. Some of those choices you make are not the right ones, and sometimes you pay repercussions for those mistakes, but that is the human experience. As a kid, you may have put a fork in a light socket and shocked yourself, but after you did it one time, you didn't do it again because you knew it wasn't that fun. The same thing applies to this entire lifestyle. Let's say you are on a diet and you go to a specific restaurant. You show up and you go, I'm just going to order an appetizer and I'll get grilled chicken for the entree. But you order the appetizer and it was so good that it boggled your brain, you forgot all about your results, you ordered the fried chicken, the mozzarella sticks, the fries, everything else, and then boom, it threw your diet off. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a mistake. And if you choose to make that mistake again, then all you're gonna do is continue to repeat those same mistakes and you're never ever going to get anywhere and your wheels are just gonna spin. In life, we're gonna mess up. We're gonna do the wrong thing. It happens more often than not. But what makes you a better person and keeps you growing is realizing what the mistakes were that you made and correcting them in the future. And for the inverse of this, next time you would go to that restaurant, instead of ordering the bad appetizer and causing it to trigger the binge, instead you might just get the salad and that doesn't trigger anything and you're able to keep on moving. You learn from your mistake. Fact of the matter is, we're always gonna fail and we are always going to mess up. But if you can realize what caused you to mess up and fail in the first place, then you can correct it moving forward and continue to see the results and get where you wanna be. And the eighth way to ensure that your diet never works out and you stay out of shape is to speak negatively over yourself. Now this one is absolutely huge and quite possibly one of the best pieces of advice I could give anybody watching this video. I want you to actually think about this. How many times in a day do you say things out loud about yourself that are negative? I hear it all the time. People will go, well, I can't lose weight because of my genetics. There's no way I can make it to the gym three times a week. I can only follow a diet for a couple weeks and then I always fall off. That, ladies and gentlemen, is negative self-talk. The way that we speak about things is the way that we think about things. A wise man once said, we question all of our beliefs except for the ones we truly believe. So next time you're speaking negatively over yourself, I want you to stop and really think if that is true or not. Because if you're speaking it into existence, you are making it true. And if we flip that on the inverse, instead, if you say, dieting is easy for me. Going to the gym three days a week would be simple. I could probably do five. I lose weight really fast when I'm consistent and I stay on point. I can do anything I put my mind to. If you start speaking like that about yourself, watch drastically how your day-to-day -day changes. This might sound airy-fairy and weird, but I'm telling you, there is power in the words we speak. And if you're constantly speaking negatively about yourself, you are doing yourself a disservice. And quite honestly, I think that having that type of mindset and self-talk is one of the most negative things you can do, one of the most surefire ways to ensure you never see the results you want. And the ninth way to ensure that you never get where you wanna be is to tolerate mediocrity and complacency in your life. I've always said, if something is worth doing, then you should do it to 100% of your ability. If you tell yourself you're gonna go to the gym three times a week, but when you show up, you're just on your phone and texting more than you're actually working out, you're doing cardio, but you're walking at the slowest pace possible when you're watching a movie and you're just not putting any effort in, or if you're dieting and instead of actually using the food scale or tracking your macros, you're just saying, hey, this seems like the right amount of food. If you're doing things at a mediocre level, then you're gonna get mediocre results. You should set yourself to such a high standard in everything you do in life, no matter what that is. If someone says they work hard, you should be working harder. If someone said they lost three pounds in a week, in your brain, you should want to get four. If you're going to literally put all the time and effort into even doing this, then you should be giving it 100%. So on the inverse, instead of actually going to the gym and texting the whole time, perhaps you follow a strict workout program, you go in there, you bust it out, you only have 30 seconds between sets of rest time, and you leave there pouring sweat and knowing you killed it. Instead of doing your cardio and literally just walking and not accomplishing 
a whole lot. Instead, you raise that incline up, you speed it up, and you actually breathe heavy and burn some actual calories while you're doing it. If you adopt this principle in every aspect of your life, you have no choice but to succeed no matter what you do. And the 10th way to ensure that you fail is to wait on perfect conditions. I hear this one all the time. I'm gonna start lifting as soon as my job lightens up a little bit. I'm gonna wait to diet until the beginning of the year. Right now, I have a little kink in my shoulder, so I'm just gonna hold off on the entire fitness thing for a couple more months until it heals. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think like this, then you are never going to get to your goal. There is no such thing as perfect conditions. Nothing about this entire process is inherently easy. There's gonna be bad days, there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be some days that are kind of right in the middle. But if you quite literally waited for things to be perfect, then as soon as they aren't perfect, you are just going to quit. As soon as things get a little tough and you face a little bit of adversity, you're gonna throw your hands in the air and give up. The real secret is, is that the conditions are never perfect. You are better to simply just start. And on the inverse of this, if you started when conditions were the absolute worst and you were still somehow able to make it work, then once conditions actually get better, it's gonna make the entire process that much easier. And once you face that little bit of adversity, it isn't even gonna feel like anything's going on because you've already trained your body and mind to deal with it. Seriously, there is no such thing as the perfect day, the perfect time, or the perfect set of circumstances to start. You just need to get in there, get it done, put in the work, and the rest will fall into place. And boom, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a little bit of inverse thinking to hopefully help you guys reprogram the way that you're thinking about this entire process. If you enjoyed this video or you had anything that I didn't say or didn't mention, comment it down below. And if you like it, I will definitely do more of these. I love these little thought exercises because I think that more important than anything when it comes to being successful at anything in life, knowledge is ultimately power. And the more that we think about these things, when we analyze them and break them down and realize where our pitfalls are, the more likely we are to correct them and succeed. If you guys enjoyed this video or got some value out of it, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below. It helps the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And don't forget the clothing sponsor of the channel, Young LA. Right now, I got on one of their tanks and I got on their comfy, perfect shorts. You can always grab the best apparel in the game. Quite literally, all that I wear at youngla.com. Use code RJF and you're going to save money. Don't forget, we also have the massive blowout sale on theanabar.com. Right now, you can use my code RJF10. You're going to save even more money on top of the crazy discounts that are all over our website. This happens till Monday. So make sure you don't miss out if you want the best deal that we've ever had on Anabars and everything else. Appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully you're having an amazing holiday weekend. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. We gone.